Hello, Oak Park residents. I'm Colton Dale. I am your community engagement and development specialist. And right now I am virtually sitting down with uh, Public Safety Director Steve Cooper. Uh, Director Cooper, how are you doing? I am doing very well, Colton. And uh, like I said, a little tired, some long days, but my, I'm very healthy and feeling really good and uh, actually glad to be at work. Good, good, good. I see you're in your office there. I am. And this is uh, th this is home home away from home. I pretty much spent probably about eighteen out of twenty four hours here. Yeah, I, I hey, I believe it. Uh, so let's jump into the questions here. So, since the COVID nineteen crisis hit, what are some major changes to the public safety department uh, that have taken place? Well, let's start with uh, how we do business in our lobby. Our public safety department is still open twenty four hours a day. Uh, we have not restricted uh, use of our, uh, our of our facility to our, our residents or our citizens. Uh, but some of the things that we have done is we are no longer doing the citizen fingerprints until after the outbreak is done. Um, our officers are taking library reports, uh, but we were doing those from behind the uh, ballistic uh, glass. If the report is of a more sensitive nature, then we will move our uh, citizens into a more uh, intimate uh, room, but obviously keeping the social distance in mind and using the, the uh, personal protection equipment that's necessary to make that happen. Uh, on the road, one of the things that we have implemented is uh, telephone reporting for some of our reports, which has really been uh, helpful. Um, our, such as, as our fraud reports, um, our larceny from uh, vehicle reports, our malicious destruction of property reports, and also our uh, what we call our stolen vehicle reports. All of those we are actually taking uh, by phone. It sounds like you guys are taking a lot of uh, safety precautions and I understand that is to protect not only uh, our, our officers but the public as well. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, like you said, our safety, our uh, public safety is our top concern and obviously our top priority and we want to uh, you know adhere to the governor's orders and we want to move through the COVID-19 uh, pandemic as quickly and as safely as possible. So we'll, we'll do absolutely whatever we need to do to keep our, our residents and our community safe as well as our officers. Uh, what have you and the public safety staff been doing to fill your time these past few weeks? I, I know you guys are very busy and you talked about some of the changes to the department, but uh, what are you guys spending your, your, uh, mo the majority of your time on right now? We are still, our, our top priority is still, you know, responding and providing, uh, you know, our public safety services, the police, the fire, the EMS. There has been some uh, lag or downtime at particular times during the day because certain businesses are closed. And we are, uh, you know, actually actively patrolling uh, throughout the neighborhoods uh, a lot more. Sometimes when you're totally engaged in um, your normal, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, routine where you're going from different runs, you're taking reports, you're responding, you're doing various things that sometimes it may limit your opportunities to get in the uh, neighborhoods and in the interior portion of the neighborhoods as much as you like to uh, vet out or, or be a deterrence uh, to crime. So we're doing a lot more of that. Um, and uh, like I said, we're, 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 we're staying busy. One of the things that, that, uh, that I wanted to mention real quickly is that, that we've had a few requests for uh, what they call birth, what we call birthday drive-bys. Uh, while the COVID virus is actually, uh, pandemic is still in effect, if uh, you have young ones that are having a birthday that are coming up and they would like for, you know, a public safety uh, police officer to drive by with the lights and siren and, and maybe a fire truck, if we're lucky enough uh, not to be as busy, uh, I'd ask them to please call uh, our station and they can either speak with uh, myself, my direct line, I'll give it out real quick, is 248-691-7501, or they can call and ask for one of our community resource officers, uh, Devin Benson or Officer Robert Cook, and uh, we can make that happen. So we, we're trying to find innovative ways to still connect with the community to let them know that you know we're still engaged, we still love them and miss them, uh, and still kind of give that community policing touch. So that's uh, some of the things that we've been doing. Yeah, that's that's really awesome. That's that's great to hear. That's really cool. Um, so my next question is, what tips or suggestions do you have uh, for residents during this time when we're all stuck indoors? 
Right, right. Well, the first suggestion or strong suggestion I would have is obviously follow the governor's orders as it relates to the social distancing um, and also the essential businesses uh, that the uh, governor spells out in our executive orders. And we've been very fortunate. The overwhelming majority of our residents, our business owners have adhered to the governor's order uh, pretty much 100 percent. So that would be one suggestion. As far as being inside, uh, I know a lot of our residents and families have uh, small ones. So it's a great time to kind of uh, get together and uh, maybe turn off the TV a little bit and get to know each other a little more and get involved with some you know, board games and find some other creative ways of uh, engaging each other. Uh, reading, it's been, a great, uh, it's been a great find, I know, for a lot of our residents. You know, story time. It's come to things that we used to do over at the library, but now um, that the kids aren't as able to, aren't able to get out as much as they would like and, you know, run up and down the street and bike and do a, uh, some of the other things. Those are, those are a couple of suggestions that I would have. They're more than welcome to call the public safety director as well and say hi if they want to talk to me for a few minutes. I love to, love to hear from the kids. Uh, you'd be surprised how much a, a, a little, little uh, voice brightens up your day. So by all means, they're more than welcome to contact me as well. That's great. So th this actually segues well into my next question is, which maybe you just gave your answer, but what, and I'm going to ask every director this. Okay. What, what are you most looking forward to when this is all over and we can get back to normal? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Normal is the big, the key word. I really miss being able to go out and engage the public on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be, you know, block club parties or, uh, different events that the city is having. I'll pop up at uh, uh, in neighborhoods and, and hang out and play with the kids. So I'm really looking forward to getting back and, and having that real intimate one-on-one uh, -on -one contact with our, uh, with our community. I couldn't agree with you more on that. Um, my last question here is, is uh, do you have any final remarks uh, for Oak Park residents at this time? I sure do. First of all, I want to uh, offer my sincerest uh, prayers to those of uh, our residents who either have family members or who may be victims of the COVID-19 virus themselves. Uh, I want to keep them encouraged, let them know that they will recover, they can recover, stay positive. Um, we love our residents. I love every single one of the, uh, the members of this community. Please know that your public safety department is doing everything possible to maintain uh, and to provide that customer service and the uh, uh, police fire and EMS uh, response that you become accustomed to and that we'll get through this together. Like I said, it's tough times right now. I know it can be a little daunting and a little stressful, but uh, please know we will prevail and we'll be stronger than ever. Yep, yep, absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, I, I appreciate your time, Director Cooper. Thanks for uh, taking a moment to virtually sit down with me and, and answer some questions. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And I appreciate it, Colin. You stay safe as well. All right, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.